CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Uh, George, um, there's a lot of talk about the last over. Was it uh, planned to uh, give Faulkner the last over because of mostly cricket degrees? Or was it also because there was a needle between him and the West Indians? Um, because of the... Um, the pre-match needle? No, he said. no just, just pure uh, death skills, Stark and, and Faulkner. Uh, George, do you feel like the, that's the end of the tournament now? It looks pretty hard to, to get to get out of the group now. Yeah, I haven't actually crunched or I've been told. I'm not sure where that where that leaves us. Um, I would imagine it makes it pretty difficult. I think we we sort of looked at the start of the tournament. Probably thought you could afford to lose one. I'm not sure you can afford to lose two. So we'll have to check that out. But uh, I imagine that makes it reasonably difficult from there. Did it cross your mind to give um, your head just one more over? Uh, no, not really, no. George, where, where did you, it might be a, sound like a silly question, but where did you lose it tonight? Was it actually in those last few overs or were there other things, do you think, that, um, or, like if you had to, was there, were, were there other factors apart from those, that last onslaught? Yeah, I think you always, your mind tends to track back to the most recent thing in the bowling, but um, once again, I don't think we batted particularly well. Um, you know, just having a quick think about it then, I think basically... All of the top six probably played pretty ordinary shots um, or shots at inappropriate times. So I think the fact that we scraped to 178 um, was was pleasing, given that I don't think we batted particularly well. And, and once again, we probably let ourselves down in the field uh, with some chances. And that comes back to bite you pretty hard in, probably harder in T20 than in, in most formats, that just um, the, the repercussions of that are so instant. So, um, I, I'm sure. I'm sure there's things we could do differently with the ball, and there's, and and there'd be guys who'd like to have their overs again and 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 try a little bit or do something a little different. But um, I don't think you can you can lay the blame just on the bowlers. Certainly, all, all three disciplines were once again not up to the standards that that we've set. Uh, George, um, following up on this question regarding James the leggy, uh, why didn't it cross your mind? Because he was doing three overs, one for 21, and considering the fact that West Indies handled pace much better than spin, and in this tournament we have seen leggies do quite well. Uh, yes, all good points. Uh, well, retrospectively, they did very well against the quicks, but um, I'm not sure there's many leggies that have bowled in this tournament in overs 18, 19, and 20, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Uh, I think James had done his job. He'd bowled pretty challengingly to the to the short boundary, um, to some guys who weren't starting to go at him as hard as they were starting to come at him then. And um, yeah, I guess we're looking back retrospectively now, so it doesn't matter. But um, I felt that that James was probably going to be easier to hit for six. And and we're talking about, I mean, these these West Indians are big buggers. They if they hit the ball, it stays hit. Um, yeah, not many, not many fall short on the fence. So uh, it was just that was just the way it, it worked out. Now, I would have introduced him into the game earlier, but um, yeah, Chris Gale sort of. Um, it's always a bit of a risk toss spin to him too. George, um, all that aside, you must feel vindicated with his selection, considering some people would have questioned bringing in such a young player in such a crunch match. Oh yeah, that's what people are entitled to do, but I. I don't think we feel vindicated. We picked a squad on, on what we think and feel is the best you know, 15 players or 15 balanced players for a World Cup over here. So um, we, we had enough, we had faith in Jim from what he'd done in, his, in the three games he played in Australia. Done a really good job for us. I think he's someone who thrives almost the more, the more pressure is on or the more competitive uh, the nature of, of the game. I think Jim, th um, his competitive streak comes to the fore as well. You stated uh, started the tournament, this um, batting lineup had more depth, but we've come up short again. Where do we from here in, in terms of T20 cricket? Oh, the balance is right. There's no, no doubt about that. And, um, you know, we've lost two games, but I think it would be remiss of everyone not to... We haven't... It's not like we've been knocked over for 120 in each game. So um, we feel like we haven't batted very well in two games and we've scored 180 and... And whatever we scored the other night, so it's not, it's not a glaring weakness. And I'd say the same about our bowling, and I'd say the same about our fielding. Um, we've just lost two close games in a in a tournament where you can't afford to lose two close games. Uh, George, what did you make of the the on field celebrations from from the West Indian guys doing the Gangnam Style dance and all that sort of stuff? Uh, you know, after a group stage win, was it a little bit much? 
Oh, well, no, I guess they're entitled to celebrate whoever they like. I've always sort of felt that uh, the art of winning is almost harder than the art of losing, isn't it? Uh, the, George, the wickets that fell early, it looked like uh, the guys were pushing too hard and it was similar to the previous match as well. But back then it was justified because you guys were chasing a lot. Was there any chance you guys set uh, ambitious targets with the bat? Do we try to set an ambitious yeah, target? Ambitious with the bat, yeah, yes. we'd like to set ambitious targets. That's the, that's the plan. I, th I think our, our, our mindset is to be attacking. We want to be, you know, we want to be putting bowlers under the pressure. And I think if you go through our uh, top four, um, I think you'd say they're all pretty aggressive players. They certainly like to take the bowling on, and that's uh, the risk and reward of that. Um, and more often than not, with these four, I think they've been pretty consistent at, at pulling it off. Um, and I, what, the one thing I've been pleased with in the past is I think when, when they've gone and the decisions they've made have been really good. Um, so that's always going to be the challenge, but I'd much rather see us get bowled out for 120 in the in the 14th over than than be a team that scraps to 130. I think going forward and for the way that we want to play our T20 cricket, um, and I think that's vindicated. So we haven't batted as well as we like today, and we get 180. That is that's pleasing in a lot of aspects, but it's disappointing on on a lot of others.